Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In earlier four parts of fishing analysis, we have learned how to analyze header and as well as body manually, as well as with the help of some fishing analysis tools. In this video, in this part, I'm going to explain how to analyze a fishing email. Here we have one email sample .eml file, and with that file, we are going to analyze the email and we are going to answer for the questions they ask okay so it is very simple so let's let's start so the phishing email five just another day as a sock analyst a sales executive at greenhold plc received an email that he didn't expect to receive from a customer he claims that the customer never uses generic greetings such as good day and didn't expect any amount of money to be transferred to his account. The email also contains an attachment that he never requested. He forwarded the email to SOC Security Operations Center Department for further investigation. Investigate the email sample to determine if it is legitimate. And tip, open the email file with Thunderbird. Okay, Thunderbird is an email client available in almost all Linux distributions. So you can use that email client to read the email files. So deploy the machine. So we already did that. I already opened the file. I mean, I already opened the machine and at the desktop, I can see challenge.eml. So this is the file I wish to open using Thunderbird. So if I see it's raw format, uh, it contains the header as well as the email body but we need to open this with Thunderbird email. So open with other application, Thunderbird email client. So let's scroll down. So here we see. So here you can see the email. The email is came from the person name claims to be Mr. James Jackson. But if you see the email address, which is totally different, contrary. And the domain is mutavamarine.com, info at mutavamarine.com. And if you see the subject, uh, it is with webmaster at redacted.org, the two address actually, your transfer reference number and they gave certain number and reply to if you t if you see the reply to address it is different compared to the first sender address info.mutevamarine at mail.com the domain is totally different here it is mail.com and there it was mutavamarine.com and the two addresses are so let's read the email through good day webmaster redacted.org as instructed, funds has been transferred to your account this morning via SWIFT. Details are as, the, details are as below and kept of payment attached. They gave the interbank transfer reference number, some, some transaction uh, detail allegedly and the transaction date, transaction description and some certain account number and the amount currency. So after that, they mentioned their name and the signature. And for importantly, you need to understand one thing. They also attached the document. The attachment is present. So let's try to download the attachment. Whenever you are handling emails like this, beware, don't click any URL or attachment comes with that email. And I'm simply downloading the attachment without opening it. So I'm saving it in the desktop folder itself already saved it okay now let's try to answer the questions they ask what is the email timestamp and they are asking the email timestamp so let's go here and if i open the thunderbird the email they, are, they gave the email timestamp. It is nothing but June 10, 2020, 5.58. And we need to 
answer it in this format however you can see the year is given here like this Five fifty-eight, twenty twenty. Answered it. That's the right answer. And who is the email from? And we need to check the person who sent the email. The name they mentioned as Mr. James Jackson. So. that must be the answer here that's the answer and what is his email address and his email address is totally different as i mentioned info@mutavamarine.com info@mutavamarine.com so that's the right answer and what email address will receive the reply to this email so when the recipient click reply and reply to replies to this email it will be sent to this particular email address info.utavamarine. sorry at mail.com and that's what we have to mention here info.mutavamarine@mail.com info at pardon me info dot mutava marine mutava marine at mail dot com yeah that's the right answer and what is the originating IP address so let's see the hint this is not the X originating IP so we can gather the email header details from this attachment if you go through the email header carefully you can get the originating ip address and if you see they mentioned the ip here 192.119.71.157 this must be the sender ip address so let's try to answer yeah that's the right answer and who is the owner of the originating ip address so let's try to put the who is look up for this ip address i am using ipinfo.io for the who is look up and i pasted the ip address and i am getting the answer the name is postwins llc so that is the format so that's the right answer as well what is the spf record for the written path domain so when i check the written path domain if i scroll up i can see the written path here info@mutavamarine.com and i need to check the spf record for the domain so let me check spf record and uh, here i'm getting the spf record
that's the right answer and what is the dmark record for the written path domain the same written path domain this time dmarkian record And once again pasting the domain and here I can see the DMARC record. So this is how you can gather both SPF and DMARC record details from online and what is the name of the attachment. So they are asking the attachment name. I already downloaded the attachment. The whole name. Perfect. And what is the SHA-254 hash for the attachment? And in order to find that, I am opening command prompt or the bash shell and from here let me move to desktop desktop contains couple of documents and sha256 some space the file name And here we are, we found the hash value. Yeah, that's the right answer. And what is the attachment file size? So let's see the hint here. Don't go by the Linux file properties, obtain the file hash and use open source resource to help you with this. So we already have the file hash in our clipboard. So let's check it with the virus total. And if I see the size, it is 400.26 KB kilobytes. That must be the answer here. Yeah, that's the answer. And what is the actual file extension of the attachment? So in order to find that, it's very simple. Use file command, the utility, to detect the exact file type. And though the file name is ending with .cab and also the .pdf is here, the, the original file type is RAR, it's an archive format. So that must be the answer here, RAR. Yeah, with this, we successfully accomplished the phishing email analysis, all five parts. And at the end, we also awarded with the phishing batch. So it was really wonderful learning session. Through these five different parts, we have learned so many new things in phishing email analysis. Hope you really enjoyed this. If you really did, if you really learned something new, hit the like button and follow me. Uh, subscribe my channel for similar more contents and I'll be creating contents very often and you can also put your comments in the comment section so that I'll be reading and I'll be responding to those. You can also share this video with your friends. I'll catch you next time with another excellent concept. Until then, I'm signing off. Love you guys.